What's going on, Wallach? Well, family? Today I got a dope video for y'all. Today I'm at Supreme Welding Academy. For those of y'all who don't know this school, this is a school located in North Houston. If you're interested in welding, they have morning and night classes. If you were to work, you come here after work, they open till 10 p.m. On today's video, uh, I got my boy Jesus right here. He's good on carbon, he never did stainless. So today my objective for y'all is to, to see the video through his eyes, he never did stainless. So I'm gonna let him do this six inch schedule 40 and I want him to treat it like a test. Now each time he makes a mistake, I'm gonna stop him and I'm gonna tell him why he's making that mistake. So hopefully he makes some mistakes that you make so you know what you're doing wrong. Let's get this video started. I wanna give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Take Off Rail, he's a rapper, he's also a welder and he raps about welding. Throughout the whole video, I'm gonna be playing some of his music. I'm gonna have his Instagram and all his information in the description box below if you wanna check him out. Man, he's dope. We can rap and this is dope that we have a, a guy who raps about welding he talks about purge stainless speak i hope you enjoy his music but man let's get this video started let's go so before you guys start on this pipe i already noticed one mistake he did not clean the inside whenever you do stainless this has to be clean you know we're going to treat this like it's a test so everything needs to be clean the outside needs to be clean too uh but this is good enough for today's video but if you test and make sure you get a tiger this and take all this off so uh, i'm gonna get you to clean the inside first before you start but that's really important guys prep is going to be really important you don't want to half-ass anything especially when you're testing because i will mess you up so i'm gonna let you go ahead and uh, clean it up and uh, i'll let you uh, do your thing okay so we're getting ready to uh start welding and i noticed another it was not really a mistake but it's more of a tip if you want bridge tag it i recommend you use 332 we grab the 1 8 rod simply because whenever you test on schedule 10 if you use 1 8 you're gonna have to turn the heat up you might even sugar the inside up with 332 you don't need that much heat and you can just bridge tag it I'm gonna get him to put out three tags. One at 12, one at six, and one at three. The reason why I don't like using four tags is it's gonna take too much time. So it's much easier to go from six all the way to nine. Stop right there, then you jump uh, to the other side. Take off! Need advice, I can help you. Yeah. Big weave, I'm a step. Yeah. Told my fear to take a break. Wow. When Swiss cheese on the belt. <laughs> Trying to stun hard for the plum bob. I got eyeball and no level. We, we're about to get ready to weld, and I noticed he made another mistake. Whenever you do stainless, you want to make sure that everything is covered up. You don't have no holes, and he kind of forgot to close this up all the way. Make sure that everything's taped up, man. All it takes is for a little bit of oxygen to go in here, and you get porosity, you're going to fail your test. It might look good, but whenever they shoot the x rays, they're going to see those holes in there. So everything needs to be closed off, front and back. Uh, it really don't matter where you put your argon. I mean, to me, it fills up. Right now, we have the argon at the bottom. Argon is heavier than oxygen, and then uh, it's going to purge everything out. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this for him. And we're gonna get started to weld. Uh, I'm gonna do this half, then I'm gonna let him do the other half. And every time I see him make a mistake, I'm gonna stop him and I correct him. And uh, hopefully by the end of this video, he's a little bit better. It's his first time doing stainless, so I don't expect him to be 100% good. As long as he learned something today is our goal. So hopefully I'm able to teach him something new. Whenever you do uh, stainless, just take off as much as you want to weld. And so don't take off too much tape. Not all the ox, all the uh, argon will come out. So just take off uh, as much as uh, how, how far you think we're we'll gonna travel. What about? Two inches. Okay, do do two inches. Okay, so he just grinded the bridge tag, and I noticed one thing that uh, is related to welding. But I just want to give y'all a tip. He was grinding without the fib lens, and that can really hurt you. I ain't gonna lie, this is a nice hood. It looks good, but if I, if you learn and get you a tiger hood, you need you need to have the flip lens. Or if you got a pancake, have that flip lens because you can easily get something in your eye. You know, I know it looks cool and stuff, but that's something to consider. Uh, another thing about I get asked all the time, what kind of welding hoods? Tiger hoods were good. These were good too, but get the, get the adapter on them. The other ones, like the Lincolns with the big old ones, I don't like those simply because when you go to a job site, you got to supply your own clear lens. You no, know, they, they usually have just the little small ones and that's all you need. You don't need those big ones unless you, that's what you prefer. Uh, he's doing really, really good for his first time. So man, uh, go ahead, bro, do your thing. Okay, so he's doing his route. Whenever you do stainless, it closes up. So you have two options here. You could rip it, get you a 1-8 disc, cut into it, make your gap bigger and back feed once again or you can keyhole dip me personally if i'm if, if you're just learning i think it's better just to rip it just to make sure you still have the same rhythm i don't like the keyhole dip that much uh so what, what do you think you would do today would you would, would you rather do uh go ahead right? okay okay so what i want you to do is just rip it to about halfway C cut your tack out now mm -hmm. rip it rebevel it and finish it out and see how it looks like okay i'm, I'm watching him grind and there's a, there's a better way to do it what he's doing he's just doing this the best thing to do is just go ahead and just slide it and rip it first then you do the walls you know what he's doing is he's, he's doing the walls coming back just grab that one eighth and just slide it in there o open that gap then you bevel it back up so he just grinded it a good tool to have is uh, a blade 
whenever you go test, just in case if you do mess up, you have to rip it. All you, all you really do is just hit the inside and take all the metal shaving that you left in there. That's all you gotta do. It's really important, it's a nice little tool to have. I, I actually keep one on deck on me all the time when I'm at work. And you can see there's a little metal shaving right here. You don't want that, you don't want that in there because that, that, that will, will fail you if you see that whenever you do your root. But you did a good job in grinding it. You know he opened the gap back up. Now he's ready to back feed. And uh, once he's tied in, I'm gonna do my side and we're gonna see how it looks. All right, uh, I'm, I wanna stop, stop you right quick. Okay, so you're about to tie in. One of the most important thing is whenever you test, you wanna be comfortable. You wanna be able to see everything. Uh, so you feel comfortable on this side? Yeah. I want you to come on this side. Now, position yourself. Look at that, lean over here. Put your hand right there. Now put the rod and act like you're gonna do the root. How do you feel about that position? Do you feel uh, more comfortable on this side? Yeah, I feel more comfortable on that side. Okay, so the, the key, you, you always wanna make sure you got a good view. Me personally, I'd rather be on this side because I wanna be ahead of my puddle, but if he says he wants to stay like that, that's fine too. Uh, the reason why I, I like to be like that is because I could just sit on top walk it. and just and you don't you can walk it you can freehand it and I'd rather be on this side so I could watch my puddle watch my root but you know whatever works for you no, right. there's, there's no right or wrong answer uh, what would recommend for you to shop in tungsten I'm a big dog on the time sheet I'm a big dog don't remind me that schedule 10 that's a dime piece P91 that's a nine piece I wrap it up and let it bake first know you love the smell when that tape burn if you're trying to ball you got play first my time to go and don't take a turn just got to work, I'm looking for a cooker The price went highest, leg and wire Check before you book her Ain't got no problem with the riggers I just tell them hook her They begging shot Alright fellas, we just uh, closed it up You know what I'm saying? For his first time, he did really, really good He has some problems with the root I feel like if he does it three more times, he'll be ready to go We're going to check with him later on in a few weeks We're going to run our hot pass Then I'm going to show you his root And what he needs to work on And why it came out that way from what I'm looking at, it looks really good. Did a good job, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be a good welder. Uh, you got a good instructor. So I'm gonna do the high pass at 105. You're gonna use 18. Uh, I'm gonna do my side. And I'm gonna go ahead and cap my side so I can kind of show y'all what the cap looks like. I'm gonna leave this side just like that. So man, you ready to burn? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we just finished welding it. Uh, Arturo decided, so me and him decided to flush it out and cap it because we're kind of running low on time. The purpose of us capping is to show the students kind of what to expect and show us the settings. We capped at 130. And it came out really, really good. On today's video, I just wanted to demonstrate common mistakes that you can make whenever it comes to doing the root. Uh, Jesus did a really good job, man. This was his first time. I think two more coupons, he'll be ready, certified to go. He did have a little issue on this side. It came out a little flat, had a little bit of cold wire. And uh, we figured out it's because he didn't rip the pipe. He was trying to penetrate it without having a nice gap. If you're learning how to weld, just rip it, open your gap up, back feed it, and go, unless you can keyhole dip. Arturo, man, this is Arturo. This is uh, one of the instructors here. Uh, how do you feel about Jesus, man? Hey guys, how's it going? Honestly, since day one, Jesus has put his best foot forward and you can see in the results. Uh, he's actually tested out all his 6G positions. He's good with the 70S2, that 7018. However, the stainless, I wanted to throw a wrench in for him. That way you guys, you guys that are starting to learn how to weld could understand the, the reality behind situations and you have a brotherhood of welders behind you trying to teach you and we couldn't do it without your support. Please like, subscribe to our channels, comment on our channels, keep us alive for you because if you have questions or if you have an ideas of what you want to see, please let us know. We're here for you. Oh, I did have one question though. I mean, I don't know the camera captured it, but that yeah. tungsten holder is oh, yeah. on. I got, I got these tungsten holders. I sell them. Uh, let me know if you want one uh, for 150 uh, Custom made. They get polished up. This one's a little bit used up, but they look way, way better. Uh, just holler at me, send me a message on my DM, and uh, I'll mail it out to you as soon as I can. I actually sold one to date. This is my personal one, but let me know and I'll customize it for you. And Jesus, can't leave without saying yeah. something to you. Oh, yeah. How do you feel being a, a part of a Supreme World Academy? It feels good, you know, learning from two, uh, two people that have been in the field for, uh, for over 10 years. The bringing always been, uh, since day one, they've been teaching me the way, the right way to go, and I appreciate Arturo and uh, Rico here from the world. Now check out this cap though. Purge down to a point nine, climb 
said he want a point five. I'ma weld the bitch in the way, cause I'm the man here, you get the point nine. Feel a crack until I double back, I'm tryna run it back, I'm on a joint nine. I was bench riding on the floor, silent, now the boy finally run a point nine. Straight runs and the mall scared. Fucked around, it was dog lit. Feel the all right, guys, we just finished up. I like how it came out. I think he's just going to be a grip welder. Man, he's just naturally could instinct tell him. He had a little few issues, but next time, he knows what we did wrong. I told him, told him what he did wrong, and I can't wait to see how he grows. Hopefully, I can get him back on the channel. I always tell people, going to school is the right way. I didn't go to school, but it just sent me back more. I had to keep on busting tests. You go to school, get the proper training. But, man, I uh, uh, appreciate y'all rock with me. Anything y'all want to see, leave a comment below. Y'all ain't like some haters, go ahead, say what you got to say. But man, I appreciate y'all rock with me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.